two days from now. Doesn't have to move this way, you know. We don't have to knock on that door. Yes, we do. I warned him, Harvey. Told him that bastard has too much over all of us. Me, you, the department, him, the whole cursed city. But what am I? A damn tree falling in the forest he won't look at? It's all any of us have been, fallen trees he wills away. Jim? No. It's over, Harve. I want to go home and get a damn shave. Now come on, let's do this. Jim Gordon, Batman's closest ally until tonight. Alright, police. The clock is in the study. We take away in mana in 30 seconds. Damn you, Bruce. Tonight the tree hits you so hard, they'll never get back up. Mind getting that cash ready, Mr. Dent? It's ready, Waylon. Crisp and green. Can you smell it, boss, Croc? Oh, I can smell it. All them little bills. Waylon Jones, a.k.a. Killer Croc. Criminal muscle, evolved human brain. Makes you weak, eh? Being so far from your precious Gotham. See me? I grew up in a small town in the Everglades, Appaloosa. Spent a lot of time in the swamps, alone, wrestling alligators, snakes. Everyone thought I was some kind of town fool, but I was learning to survive outside my comfort zone. Be vicious. You, I expected more from you. Hell, I even brought my own muscle. Trixie, a.k.a. King Shark. Bigger criminal muscle, evolved shark brain. My Own Worst Enemy, Part 2. Heh, <laughs> I brought in my own muscle too. You tall, Batman. Aaron Helsing, aka Amygdala. Biggest criminal muscle. Partial brain. I fix tall. Hear that, Bats? That's the sound of reckoning, pal. Growing louder and louder in your ears until you can't block it out anymore. Sorry. Were you saying something, Dent? I must have missed it. Too crowded in this car to hear much. Ah, oh, that smell. Ah, hit it off of me. Eh, hey, what were those things? Shark repellent. Smells like... Dead shark matter. Copper acetate mixed with boric acid. Come here, I'll let you taste croc rot. Ah, see, I'm thicker skinned than my friend Haas. So toss your little scented batarangs and take your best. Shh. Ow. Hey, Waylon, Appaloosa called. They want their fool back. What are you looking at, you piece of- Mile Marker, 156. Get up. I said get up. Now, before- Jade Ewan, aka Cheshire, poison expert. Most toxic individuals on the planet. Jane Doe, a.k.a. Copperhead, Venom Expert. I'll admit, Bats, you made it farther than I expected. But now you got what? 
two, maybe one minute before you go belly up. I warned you about betting against me. I told you. Ah! Huh. Look at that. Now you have one minute to live too. And I'm the only one who can make an antidote. <clears throat> you were that desperate little parlor trick you bought yourself, what? A few more fucking miles? I'll fucking take them. Wait, what the hell are you? I threw my charges the second I saw Croc. Get ready. This is our stop. You can't be. But still, he does not stop, does he? The gentleman ghost. The egg-haired orca and her death cycle. He keeps going, even when there's no more road. When he is going over the cliff and is falling, you fall. But even falling, he simply refuses to hit the ground. Which is why you have come to me, is it not? Twenty hours ago, six stories below the now closed historic Russian tea room. Here, Mr. Yazov, we come bearing gifts. Vodka, but it's American, not Russian. The very finest. Warren White, aka Great White. Roman Sionis, aka Black Mask. Oswald Cobblepot, aka Penguin. Gotham's Lords of Organized Crime, a.k.a. the Black and Whites. I must say, it's something to lay eyes on you. We all thought you were... Retired. By retired, he means fucking dead. So what they say is true then, eh? And what do they say? Do tell. What my associate meant was that birds on the street, they speak of you as a great legend. They say that when the Soviet Union collapsed, the U.S. government acquired you for itself and... Acquired me? Apologies, I meant. Offered you a job killing for them. They've enhanced you all over again. In new ways. Stronger ways. Birds... They say over the past decades you've killed more hostiles than anyone alive. They say you're the richest, deadliest contract killer in the States. Birds on the streets are dirty, diseased things. Together, as a team, we got just enough to pay your fee. Damn if it ain't in my economy and it's- Enough, Warren. Anatoly, please. We know you're exclusive to DC. Built man. Like he has been waiting a long time for you to become men and hire me to kill him. I will do this for you on one condition. Anything. Every job I ever do, my whole life, it needs to be quiet. But now, now, I almost have everything I need to make my own dream, my secret dream, since boyhood, concrete. So this job, for Batman, I finally get to be loud. You clean up the mess. Mess? What kind of? Yes, of course. Whatever the terms, we're in. Good. There will be mess. It's all mine now, see? Your money, your jewels, everything at the double feature belongs to Two-Face. See? There. Right there. That's the Two-Face I know, not... That. So what happened? Was it the gunshot he... No, it's just him, Master Duke. Also, 20 hours ago. When you're young, that's how you know Two-Face. For his louder exploits. But the key to understanding him is that he's two minds trapped in one body. 
When he's Harvey, he's a truly good soul. When he's Two-Face, he revels in human darkness. The change holds for months at a time. What Harvey knows, Two-Face does not. What Two-Face knows, he keeps hidden from Harvey. As for the Two-Face children now, Master Bruce has a theory. When the change is about to occur and Mr. Dent is returning to their shared mind, he causes Two-Face to act out so he'll be caught. Hence the difference between the Two-Face in the suits and such, and the one parents know all too well. The secret darker man who makes evil easy. Wait. Any memories from before the acid attack are still shared, right? Which means that Two-Face must know who that Batman is. Yes. Still in this city, guessing Bruce Wayne is Batman isn't that difficult. It's proving the link that Master Bruce has made impossible. I look at the map and I just hope to God Two-Face doesn't have claws in someone close enough to Master Bruce to provide the link. Man, all this for some possible cure for Two-Face. Can you pull up what we have, Alfred? Mr. Dent has been funding it himself. The last version he sent Master Bruce is this. Wait, that? Is that chemical? Oh no. What is it, Master Duke? It's a trap, Alfred. I have to stop Bruce before he... Before it's too late. But Master Duke, you've only begun your training. The wheel has only begun to turn. Then the damn wheel needs to turn faster. You trying to kill us both, you crazy... Shut it before I give you an antidote for the antidote. <clears throat> Let me ask you something, boss. You get me where we're going, all their secrets come out. You think you'll be their savior? You think they'll thank you? In the end, get up. Uh, in the end, but that's just it, Bruce. It is the end. They feel it. All of us cramped together on this rock, closer and closer. Everything heating up. It's all falling apart. They're tired of acting like they ought to be in public, rather than they who they are. They want to be themselves, to be bad. Stop trying to drag. Walk. The road is just ahead. You and Harvey, though, you actually believe they all want to get caught. Go before the great judge. Cry it out. Be redeemed. I wonder if that's how it'd be for you. If I could finally join your two halves. If I had the proof. When that day comes, I stand by what I've done. I'm ready. Huh. Funny you should say that. What? Harv? Bruce, you came. Of course I did. No, I, I mean it. Thank you for believing in, in this. It's something special. It will be, I hope. Hey, you dropped this. My coin? Bruce. But how did you... It always comes back. Here you go, Mr. Dent. Hang on! Looks like a friend is waking up. Don't worry, Bats. You're with the good guys. Hey, Mr. Dent. Check it out. Pretty side he lives, ugly side he dies, right?
Looks like he dies. Is that how my coin works? All right, bats. Believe me, one thing I never do is lie. And this way, you're getting off easy. So, you call? Cha-ching. See, right now, the proof about you, it's on the mayor's desk. You kept coming, you de-encrypt. But if you'd still kept coming, what I would have shown you, killing you now, is Mercy Street. Because when it comes to secrets, to human evil, there's always something worse down the road. I can't wait. What the hell's going on back there? Sounds like... Hold on, look up ahead. What in God's name is that? Anatoly Nyazov, aka The Beast. Something worse. I can, and I will, Mr. Pennyworth. You and I know I have no choice. He brought this on himself. If you... I said, out of the way. Now, Harvey, open it. Yes, sir. Give me a light. Jim, there's no coming back from this. You get that. Light now. My God. Damn you, Bruce. What the hell have you done? <laughs>